Welcome to the final part of our four-part sub-series on lighting in our bigger Principles of Cinematic Render series. What is volumetrics? Volumetrics is the physical light beam scatter that you see when a directional light is projected through atmospheric elements like dust, smoke, fog, etc. The way you add volumetrics is by introducing turbidity in the form of a volume object in the area. A good example is the headlights of a car beaming through the fog at night. Combined with atmospheric mist, this effect gives your renders a very dramatic vibe. If we go a step further and animate the scene with animating the source or angle of the directional light, that adds another distinct characteristic to your lighting and at large your whole render. Another advantage is you can also use volumetrics to bring focus to an object similar to the spotlight in the real world. It's a good way to tell the viewer that a particular object is the center of the story. One real downside of using volumetrics is painfully long render times. This doesn't matter if you're rendering out a still frame. However, it severely affects the cumulative render times when rendering out an animation. One workaround in Blender is that you can render out the volumetrics in Eevee, which is obviously going to be much faster since Eevee brings that real-time goodness. We can also increase the quality of the volumetrics by lowering the tile size to the lowest in the render settings, and this effectively increases the resolution of the fog. You also need to check the volumetric shadows checkbox. EV does, however, tend to be affected a little less if you are using an HDRI to light your scene, so you might need to add in some extra lights here and there. We can also make volumetrics by a cheat method, which essentially fakes volumetrics and gives tight control over the shape of the fall off as well. In order to do that, We'll make a cube and have it adjusted to the shape of the god rays that we want. Give it a new material. Remove the principal shader. Add a mission and connect it to the volume input. Now this is all very uniform and weird. We'll break it up by giving a noise texture. We need to adjust the shape of the texture and stretch it out a little to give the effect of rays. So we press Ctrl T with Node Wrangler and map the noise to the shape of the rays. We will crunch this effect by a color ramp and adding a slight yellow tint to the light. We have a good Godray volumetric effect. Alright, this wraps up our lighting sub-series within our Principles of Cinematic Render series. Let me know if you need me to cover anything in particular. If you want to get the ebook that comes with the course for revision, the link is in the description. Feel free to ask for any doubts, like and subscribe if you think this was helpful. I will see you soon. Farewell.